say, I hope, I hope him. And, and my aunts would say, if, if I were going with him somewhere as a little boy, they'd say, make haste. <laughs> make haste. Make haste. Make haste. Hurry up. Uh -huh. That was their version of hurry up. And I think it was a reflection of the Scottish heritage that many of them were remembering ancestrally, you know. Um, but the South is a, is a fascinating place to live because of the colorful language that we speak. We, I just heard uh, Rick Bragg, who was at the public library uh, last night, uh, talk about the, uh, his, his books about his family in Alabama. And just, he, he's, he's a masterful storyteller. He tells stories about his family. I'm sure that not everybody in his family approves of everything he's written about his family, but uh, it's, oh, yeah. his, it's his take on growing up in this very, very poor family. And you, and you, and you discussed your family also, exactly. you said. And I had, some, I had some negative response from, from my brothers. I have four brothers. Oh, really? and, uh, They've never been quite sure what I was doing all, the, all this time away from home, you know. They, they've all married and They're, stayed in the same little farming community where oh, we were really? born, yeah. And, uh, but, but they've been very tolerant, you know. They said, wait, it's okay, he'll come home one of these days. But, uh, so you're a, at, you're a wild adventurer I, I, moving I, I'm up sure to I am. Kentucky. So, yeah, I, the, the far north, this is a long way. Oh. And, uh, but but they, uh, I've always maintained close contact with my relatives, and I have a home down there to which I'll be moving eventually. Oh, really? Yeah, one of these days. Uh, oh, that's terrible. I can't pay taxes in two states. Uh, they're getting too high. So uh, I'm probably... But anyway, uh, uh, this book, Conecuh People, was made into a play at Troy State a couple of years ago. And um, uh, I, it, I didn't write the script for the play. Uh, an Alabama-born New Yorker uh, wrote the script, but he sent it to me and for some uh, suggestions. And I, you know, I consulted with him on the script while he was writing it. And I proved it. And, uh, you know, it tells some things that my brothers weren't eager to hear about the family, about the family, my father's in particular. And um, one day I received an email from my youngest brother. Mm -hmm. And it, all it said was, Dear Wade, why do you hate your family? Ooh. And I thought, my gosh, I'm not, I don't hate my family. I was trying to pay tribute to my family in, this, in the book. And, and not only to my family, but to the people in the entire community where I grew up. I wasn't trying to hate, but you can't just tell sweet things about people, you know. It's, it's the, sometimes the dark side that makes them human. Uh -huh. And uh, that's, that was my, my defense. And, but when they saw the play, they liked, I, I thought I'd be run out of the county. I was afraid. Because, you know, you don't know how it's going to look on the stage. Uh -huh. and, it, and it was just people were laughing and crying throughout opening night so I was really? very gratified all my family all my brothers and their wives and children and grandchildren just loved it so I guess I oh, was good. I was uh, are you ever vindicated gonna, are you going to bring it to Louisville well I don't think it would have much not much interest up here but who knows one of these days somebody it's might a curious it. thing what Alabama people how they live and so mm -hmm. forth well you know Ken Kentucky has benefited from several Alabamans James Still the, the prominent the late uh, James Still who lived over in uh, Heinlein, Kentucky, and wrote better than anybody about the, uh, the Kentucky mountains, was from Alabama. Mm -hmm. And uh, a writer who lives here in Louisville, Sina uh, Gina Daslin, is from Birmingham, Alabama. Mm -hmm. she, she wrote Ahab's Wife and has a, a just finished a book on the Birmingham church bombings. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, pardon me, I don't mean to interrupt, but before I forget about it, if, for people that are interested in, in uh, getting hold of some of your books, what's the, what's the best way to do that? Well, uh, used and antiquarian booksellers have copies. Most of the books, most of these books are out of print. Uh, I would suggest that you go to, to the internet mm -hmm. and uh, go to a search engine like bookfinder.com. Uh -huh. Bookfinder.com and, and just type in W A D E H A L L, H -A -L, -L yeah. Wade Hall. Wade Hall, and and then you'll get all the books that 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 are available for sale. And you, and you never know where the bookseller is going to be. It could be in somebody in Maine or California, just as easily as in Kentucky or Alabama. Uh, I'm I'm a uh, not an addict, but I'm a I'm a fan of the internet. I think it's an oh, yeah? incredible. Uh, advancement, human advancement. Uh -huh. I'm excited about uh, the possibilities. Because now when you write books, you have to 
you have to write them on the computer so that the uh, publisher doesn't have to reset the type. You can just edit the book and... and it's still hard. Uh -huh. hard it's hard work. I, I, it's not as hard as picking cotton, but it's, uh -huh. <laughs> but it's still hard. No. It's hard work. Yeah, it is hard work, but it's, it's, it's exciting work. Uh, the hardest part of writing for me is getting started, sitting down. Oh, yeah? And starting, writing that first sentence. And once I get into it, I, 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 the clock it doesn't matter anymore. Sometimes I'll wake up, I mean, I'll look up and I'll find uh, that it's 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm, still, I'm you, still writing. Do you physically write everything down? very quickly and start and, and then I do the revisions of course you know, on the computer but uh, I find that spe especially poetry uh, it seems to me that there's something about the intimacy of poetry that you need to write first in 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 in, in longhand you didn't mention poetry books when we were looking at yeah I, well I don't have one here to show but I do have one called the high limb which is a collection of my early poems oh really mm -hmm. so the, you've written poems throughout your life in addition not, to well for the past 30, 35 years. Now, my, see, I was an academician, and I didn't, uh, I didn't do any much creative writing. I took a creative writing course as an undergraduate, but um, I was, uh, as as a college professor, I was expected to do some quote scholarly writing, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't. It wasn't until I came to Kentucky that I became interested in creative writing. So I've written some uh, some fiction and as well as poetry, and I hope that I'll be able to write some fiction about my family. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll have to change the names because I'm going to really imagine some things. Yeah, your little brother will be on your trail. Well, but, but it, it, he, can't, he can't get me because I won't use my, our, my father's real name or my mother's real name or uh -huh. uh, the, other, or the other people in the community that uh, will be characters. Most writers use autobiographical elements. You know, I mean, you, you start out with a character and it may be patterned on your father, your mother, your aunt, uncle, or neighbor, and then you, uh, you make him something different. You know, but you've got to start somewhere. You can't, I don't think you can make up things completely. You know, it's got, all writing is to some extent autobiographical. 